got pissed They'd find a better plot twist But it's so late in the season They've lost all sense of reason Well, the script needed some filler But they didn't have to kill her They never mentioned cancer On Cheers or Barney Miller Oh, cancer isn't funny No matter how you try It sucks when you get cancer and die Wow, cancer. I can't help feeling like somehow we could have been nicer to her, learn her name or something. Well, at least she did the right thing and stopped showing up, because she could have put me in a very awkward position, let me tell you. I was being nasty to her to show everyone I'm not a suck-up, but now she's got cancer, plus she chose me to confide in about the cancer, so if she came back, I'd want to be nice to her, and that would make me look like a suck-up to my coworkers. All suck-ups. Goes without saying. You see my quandary? The important thing is that you're carrying on, despite the way her cancer almost caused you slight inconvenience. True. Thanks. And look at the bright side. Blurting out her secret was so unbelievably cool and insensitive. Now everyone knows you're not a suck-up. Uh, gosh. Thanks again. I've been looking at this, sir. I wasn't quite done. Now that's what I call positivity. You're good with death, too. Thank you, sir. So, very hush-hush, I need you to design a website memorial for that poor little celebrity relative intern with cancer. But she's not. Today she's not. But VH1 is all about tomorrow. That's why we play the Stones and the Who. Let's be prepared with something classy, PA. Oh, and with lots of pictures of J-Lo being thrown into swimming pools. Now another reason no one will ever mistake you for anyone with a shred of compassion. Getting it. I'm getting it. There you are, killing yourselves with work again. We were, um, just talking about the niece and how we wish she were still here so we could be nicer to her. Well then, I have some good news. It seems the niece likes being at VH1 so much that she plans to come back to work. Oh no! Excuse me? Oh no, that's great! Although she'll have to be late Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays because of chemo. So we still have a shot at the J-Lo deal! I've taken the proactive, pro-social step of writing a memo about how we can be inclusive and supportive during this trying time. Proactive, pro-social, inclusive, and supportive? Z, we hardly knew ye. Okay, the intern huggers in Human Resources wrote it, and I signed it. But it's good. Read it. Memorize it. Live it. To all VH1 staff except Jennifer Lopez's niece, the following words may no longer be said at VH1. Tumor. Abnormal. It's gonna be hard, you know, not to make her feel like a freak. Dizziness. Nausea. It's like when you see someone with one arm on the street and you don't want to stare, but you don't want to look away and give away that you were thinking of staring. What do you do? Malignant. Lump. According to Jim. I think the answer in that situation is pretend to be really exasperated with one of your own arms, like it's always in the way you're bumping into things. Oh, a darn arm. Oh, that kind of thing. I think that would make the person feel better. On a more positive note, I am pleased to announce that we are on the verge of signing a deal with Jennifer Lopez for a 13-part series, Behind the Hammer Toe. What are you gonna do, Joel? If you're nice to her, you're a suck-up. If you're mean to her, you're a jerk. Hey, guys. Hey, niece. Great to see you. Or possibly, you've got some nerve showing up four hours late for work. Or maybe, great to see you. Joel's a little confused. I bet your Aunt Jenny's proud of you for coming back to work, huh? My aunt? I don't want to talk about her. I'm very sorry to hear about a rift with your niece, J-Lo. What can we do to help? What can anyone do? All I did was ask her very nicely if she would appear in an infomercial with me and say her cancer started as hammer toe. But she said she didn't want to go public with her disease, especially in the form of a blatant, stupid lie. That stupid hurt. Well, I'm sure I'm a very sensitive person. This sort of family strife is just the kind of thing that could cause me to withdraw from public life. No concerts, movies, 13-part series on marginal television networks. You're not asking me to fire a young girl with cancer. Of course not. She's still my niece, and I love her, and God, imagine the nightmare publicity for J-Lo and VH1. No way. No firing, never. We'll just have to hope that for some reason she decides to quit. Does VH1 sponsor a stable of racehorses? What? We make the softball team pay for their own t-shirts. Okay, so the horse head in the bed is out. But you'll think of something. To all employees, read the new etiquette. Metastasize, prognosis, bad news, etc., etc. 
All VH1 staffers are hereby encouraged to pepper their everyday speech with these words. I don't understand, Michelle. Why would we want to make the niece uncomfortable? Because Z can't get JLo on the air while the niece is here, but she can't fire a cancer patient, so she's trying to get her to quit. That doesn't seem right at all. I'm gonna be nice. Ooh, I'll call the newspapers. How about you, Joel? At least now you can take off the gloves and really be a jerk. Ah, uh, but no. For now, if I keep beating up on her, I look like I'm trying to get in good with Z, which means... I have to suck up to the niece to prove that I'm not a suck up. This sucks. Hey niece, you're doing such a great job at whatever important work it is that you're doing. Aren't you gonna follow that up with something nasty like you've been doing? No, I'm not. What do you think of that? I think that's the real Joel Stein coming through. The nice guy. Oh, well. The one who's not gonna let his loneliness and fear that love is for others, not him, turn him into a prematurely bitter old man. Um. Thanks. You're one of the reasons I like working here so much. You, Michelle, Kevin. I really think the positive vibe I've gotten from all you guys is the main reason I'm in remission. You're what? I'm in remission. I just got the test results. No symptoms, no discernible cancer. I can't wait to tell everyone. Isn't it great? No, it's terrible. What? God, you are a creep. I mean, yes, it's great. Of course it's great. But if Z finds out, you'll lose your job. What? Why? Because as long as you're working here, your aunt won't come on the air. But they couldn't fire you because of your cancer. They were trying to get you to quit. God, I thought I was sick. Where are you going? I don't want anything to do with this business ever. I'm going to intern at my other aunt's job where they treat people a lot better. Where does she work? She's a mortician. It's just a guess, but I think I have to revise that memorial page. Just tell me how Aunt Jenny... What's that? Uh... In memoriam, celebrity relative intern Jennifer Lopez's niece goes to God? What is this? And why are there all these pictures of my aunt getting thrown into swimming pools? It's a work in progress. Can't anybody around here let you finish something before they criticize it? Look, um, niece, why don't we just delete your obituary tribute like it never happened? Thank you, and drop dead. If I do, I hope someone cares enough to make me a memorial page like yours. Joel, I didn't save that. It's gone forever. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. There'll be other dying celebrity relative interns. Deleting it was the right thing to do. Suck up. Oops, it's still there. Incompetent suck up. Um, Joel, which key did you press? A bunch. Putting on a little show for the niece. Why? But you said behind the hammer toe was a go if we got rid of the niece. And we got rid of her. I didn't mean kill her. You put her obituary up on your website and now my phone is ringing day and night with family members wanting to know how she died? I have a lot of family members. The webpage was launched by mistake. So how come a week later it's still up? Um, well, with all those pictures of you getting thrown into pools, it's getting 25,000 hits a day. Very good, Kevin. Works perfectly. Um, Z, ma'am, if you don't mind me saying so, I'm not sure how much the average visitor to the VH1 website is gonna get out of this. This page isn't going on the website, Kevin. This one is just for me.